So when you have your video recorded and you're ready to add it into your course, there are a couple of ways you can do so. If you are using modules in my classes, you may choose to add a page to your module. And when you go in to edit the page, one of the benefits to embedding the video in a page is that you can add context. You can provide additional resources or instructions on what to watch for as they view the video. You can click on more external tools, select Panopto recordings, and you can select the video that you want to insert in that page. And once again, because you've embedded the video into a page, you can take advantage of all of the other things that having a page in your course can offer, such as having students contribute to a discussion after they watch the video. And you can link directly to that discussion from within the page. When you save your page, you can verify that your content shows accurately and publish it when you are ready for students to see it. If you have made multiple Panopto recordings for the rest of the semester and you do not want students to come to Panopto recordings and watch them, you can hide Panopto recordings from your course navigation by going back to Settings, Navigation, and Disabling Panopto. And then from your modules area, you can publish the lecture with the embedded video when you are ready for students to see it. If you want students to watch the video within the Panopto server, you can add a link to the Panopto video in the course. For example, if you are using modules, you can hit Add to Module, and from the dropdown, you can select External URL. You can paste the link to the Panopto video, put the title of the Panopto video in, and load the tool in a new tab. These are two ways of delivering the same lecture, either embedded in my classes, or linked out to the Panopto server, or you can leave your Panopto recordings folder enabled in the course and students can click on it at any time to watch any of the videos in it.